Hi, my name is Michael Sherman, and today in this short video, I'll tell you a life-changing story about how I figured out how to easily create an automated supply of the freshest, high-quality organic foods you've ever tasted for pennies on the dollar. I'm talking about a simple invention that can be used by any family around the world to make the best, delicious, protein-rich, vitamin-packed food every day, 24-7, 365. Over the past year, over 13,200 families have also already successfully used the very same technique to get over tragic milestones such as hurricanes, snowstorms, or floods. Based on technology that's already in use as part of a global initiative to feed the most severe disaster hit zones on the planet, not only can it give more food than you can actually eat every day to last through the bleakest of times in droughts, no matter what happens, but it can ameliorate your grocery bills all year long. I'm sure you're already intrigued and you want to know all about how this system works. Honestly, it's like nothing you've ever seen. And in a few minutes from now, you'll be outraged you've put your family's life in the hands of FEMA, the government, and the greedy food corporations that make the cards these days. So you absolutely need to watch this short presentation today while it's still up. I don't know how much longer I'll have this free presentation online, so watch this right now while you can. Before we continue, let me tell you who I am and how it all started. As I mentioned before, my name is Michael Sherman. I'm a 47-year-old farmer, and I live near Hamilton County with my wife and our four-year-old son. Folks who live here know that extreme heat, floods, and water shortages due to droughts in the area are somehow of an issue, and we've been fighting them for years. And we've never liked how our officials are handling the situation by introducing laws that force us to cut our usage or by raising the prices for something everybody should afford, like having a fresh, non-distributed food supply without restriction. However, we simply settled thinking, that's the economy, or maybe it'll be better next year, month after month, struggling not to fall behind on bills. All that until the spring of 2012, May 13th, Tuesday, the absolute worst day of my life. We were entering our second year of drought, a recurring nightmare for those old enough to remember the prolonged dry period of 1987 to 1991, and the disaster of 1976 and 1977, the previous record-setting drought. But this time it was different. Without help from the heavens, 2012 will be the last year before my family will begin to go bankrupt. Due to a three-month heat wave and drought with temperatures often well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, burned up almost all my crops, and there was simply no water for irrigation. Moreover, the state water project announced for the first time in its 54-year history that it would deliver no water, and we would have to get by with water from other sources, such as the rivers, groundwater, and the little left in the aquifer below my farm. However, I thought I was prepared. Solar electricity, solar hot water, and we even had our own well. Big mistake. Four years ago, our well totally dried out. I didn't really panic because I still had a 250 gallons of potable water stockpile, seeds, and enough canned goods stored in my garden cabin to last my family for four months should any disaster strike. A few nights after our well dried out, I heard some noises coming from my backyard. I took my gun and hurried outside to see what happened. And what I saw made me freeze in my tracks. There were some men loading our emergency stockpile into their truck. They weren't looking to break into our house or searching for valuable stuff like gold, money, and electronics. They just wanted our food and water supply. I was ready to shoot right then and there. Yet, before I could even aim my gun, I felt the cold barrel of a rifle pressed upon the back of my head. There was nothing I could do. You can't imagine how I felt not being able to protect my family. And then, the next morning, when my little Jimmy came to me and said, Daddy, I'm hungry, I immediately burst in tears. It was the most devastating moment of my life. I felt like my world collapsed. I felt powerless because there was nothing I could do to protect the ones I cared for most. It was the moment I realized I was at the end of my rope. I swore to myself I'd never put my wife and son in a similar situation again. I don't want to sound preachy about it, but ask yourself, what are we going to turn into? Are there going to be killings over a scrap of food? Humanity is already on the verge of dehumanization due to hard times that continue to weaken all of us. Listen, the situation so far left unchangeable consequences. 
and there are no signs that it would get better. Food is rapidly becoming the new oil, and land is the new gold. They have become targets of new global gold rushes. As financial speculators sit with their thumbs poised over the buy button, ready to drive the cost of your weekly grocery bill into the stratosphere. Terrorism is no longer the main threat to our future. Instead, water shortages and ever-increasing food prices now rank as a major threat to national security. Sadly, our world has turned from an era of food abundance to one of food scarcity. And food is the one thing all societies cannot do without. Yet, how did we get in this life-threatening situation? The first reason is that most of us take food completely for granted. We live in a world where more than half the people live in countries with food bubbles based on people over-pumping and draining aquifers. The question is not whether these bubbles will burst, but when. As the ever greater number of weather-related crises strongly suggests, climate change is beginning to bite. The heat waves, droughts, and excessive rainfall in the last few years have not been a blip, but a new reality. Yet. We continue to ignore Mother Earth's stop signs. Listen, the bursting of just a few of these national food bubbles as aquifers are depleted could create unmanageable food shortages. And on top of all that, the UN and top universities have solid proof that a disastrous super famine is going to hit us hard. A decades-long global food scarcity that could send us back to the Middle Ages, just like it did before several times as history tells us. Now, I can hear your BS radar going off, and I'm sure you're already thinking there's no way it could be true. Please, if you have ever lived with this confidence, stop right now, and I'll explain why in a moment. History has shown us time and time again that things can go south in the blink of an eye. During the Great Depression, many people were forced to work in labor farms and sometimes had to resort to inhuman things just for a hot meal. Wives abandoned their husbands hoping that it will be better on their own. Thousands of families fell apart. And here's the bad part. History has a not-so-funny way of repeating itself, and those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. The UN reports food prices are now close to the crisis levels of 2008. Because in the last 10 years, they have doubled as demand for food has increased with a rapidly growing world population. Moreover, Millions of people switch to animal-based diets, which require more grain and land, and in turn, meat and dairy prices are likely to surge in the next year. Though many people and governments still dismiss or belittle the issue, a one-third reduction in world grain reserves and a doubling in food prices are the writing on the wall. But this is just the beginning, and although there is still, theoretically, enough food for everyone to eat, Global supplies have fallen this year by 2.6%. There is no guarantee that we can continue to increase production, and if we continue to have dry winters and a poor harvest, we could see a major food crisis across the board. Just imagine what will happen if the situation keeps getting worse. It will be down for the count. The entire American continent is already on the ropes. The time of world food security has come to an end. The world has lost its safety cushions and is living from year to year. We are moving into a new food era, one in which it is every country for itself. And with all the economic, political, and social turmoil, internal conflicts, refugee floods, government failures, and wars that accompany such times, a major crisis in the years ahead is virtually guaranteed. When the Great Depression hit in the 1930s, the results were devastating. Death famine, and, for the most fortunate, relocation. We all heard about these recent tragedies. Last year's global report on food crises identified 108 million people in food insecurity or worse across 48 countries. Just a few years ago, a severe drought was raging at full throttle in the U.S., and we saw emaciated longhorns, desiccated fields, and burning prairie grass. Stories of people left struggling to feed themselves made headlines. For years, we've been warned that we are headed for a food security crisis, and as the climate change, urbanization, and soil degradation continues to stretch on, we can now see it slowly happening all around us. Most people don't realize that things are going to get worse than this, much worse. The United States is on the verge of a national crisis. 
one that will make the Great Depression feel like a rehearsal. If trucks can't haul food across America, or if panic mobs loot the superstores in your area, your family is left at the mercy of an incompetent government. And all these will trigger wars all over the American continent, as war and hunger are the two words forever associated, and it already happened before. Recent reports of the consequences of hunger, food insecurity, and malnutrition in Syria and Yemen indicate that these events have already contributed to armed conflict outbreaks or sustained conflicts in both countries. During these conflicts, over 290,000 people died. Scientists proved hunger can be a lethal weapon as it is increasing the risk of wars breaking out across the world. What are we going to do once all the food is gone? Well, I immediately began researching every single alternative I could find. I considered building a greenhouse, and I looked pretty much into this option. However, I found out that the average cost to build a greenhouse can set you back more than $12,000, money I just haven't lying around. Moreover, greenhouses are very labor-intensive, technical to operate, and typically require training in addition to knowing how to grow plants. Plus, disease and insect problems can get out of hand quickly compared to other types of farming. Next, I considered building a hydroponic garden. But as the name says, a hydroponic system uses lots of clean water and electricity to operate, taking the costs into the thousands of dollars range. What's more, it requires a constant light source backed up by a generator and a water and nutrient delivery mechanism. And with the water shortages in our area, setting up a system like that was an impossible mission to achieve. So, I had only one option. If I wanted to make sure my family never goes through such an experience again, I had to create my own solution. It had to be something cheap and fast and easy to build because I definitely didn't have any technical skills to build complicated stuff. Being a farmer doesn't really offer those kinds of skills. So I started looking into every other solution that could bring me the security for my family. Many sleepless nights passed, and I was getting tired of surfing the Internet for a simple solution. Yet, one day, Marie, my wife, reminded me about my Uncle George and his research in the environmental sector. On top of that, his life goal was to save the planet and offer our children a better life. As a professional researcher, he had all the resources he needed to do it. And, setting his goal to help mankind, as he said, he dedicated his life to discovering new technology. And he did a thorough research. I remembered him telling me how, when he was in Australia, one of his professors, a global expert in food systems, Dr. Rowe, managed to create a system so sustainable and practical it produces fresh, nutritious foods on autopilot all year round. That very moment I realized the answer I was looking for was in front of my eyes. I later found out that the innovative system he told me about was invented by a brilliant professor who revolutionized access to food and how we're able to grow it today. Moreover, the U.S. Green Building Council, USGBC, is using this innovation with great success to stomp out hunger in a landmark program called Feed Hunger Now, so people can have real good fresh food every day. One of the system's key components is the red wiggler worms. They play a very important and unique role in what makes this food system a lot more efficient and easier than any other system in the world and on the market today. That's the real secret. What you may not realize is just how efficient such a simple innovative system is, as it eliminates the need of buying expensive, mostly unhealthy food from the grocery store. The worms add key nutrients and richness to the soil, which then produces fruits and vegetables that are far superior and healthier than even the best organic food you can buy. The fundamentals are so easy, and if properly applied, you can have a virtually unlimited food supply anywhere, even if you live in a tiny apartment and don't have much space. That was the solution to my problem. However. I found out that the technology is not new and some greedy corporations got their hands on it and are selling these devices to families for close to a small fortune. So, while this option was off the table, I knew there had to be a solution out there. And that's when I decided to pay a visit to my uncle. He saw the device with his own eye after all. Without wasting a second, I took some time off and told my wife and son I was going to visit their uncle. I kissed them goodbye and I swore myself I wouldn't come back without the solution. I went to Lincoln, Nebraska and talked with my uncle. I told him my story and asked if he could help me. 
begging him to show me his research on this device. He agreed, and as he explained to me what it was all about in very little detail, I got very disappointed because everything sounded too hard for me. I had no technical knowledge whatsoever. I said, Uncle George, stop. I know you have some technical knowledge, and it's easy for you to understand what's in there, but is there any way to make this simple so anyone can do it? Being an enthusiast in this field, he agreed. However, I insisted to get some basic rules. The device had to be incredibly cheap to build. I was already over my budget with the research, the trip, and everything. It had to be very easy to build, so that I could explain it to my wife and the son to build it if, God forbid, something were to happen to me. So, we started working on the project together. The first models we made were either too expensive or too complicated for me to build. We had some heated arguments, mainly because of me being stubborn. I needed the device to be cheap and simple. In the end, after several attempts, we finally came up with a prototype that seemed to be what we were looking for. The design was brilliant, and we managed to build it with $270 worth of materials from Home Depot. However, I'm sure we could have found the parts at a junkyard for free if we weren't in a rush. But the most important part is that it was incredibly simple to put together. You simply had to place the components in the correct position, and because of the ingenious way the device was designed, you can easily grow pretty much any produce you want to eat with this system, delicious food filled with all the vitamins and minerals antioxidants you need. Even more, this system was actually incredibly easy to use, even if you are terrible at building stuff and have trouble plugging in a DVD player to your TV. The next step was to test it out and see if it really worked as well as we thought it would. So, we started the device, and I stood watching in complete amazement. The system reached optimum performance because of the brilliant design my Uncle George had come up with. It was providing a steady, robust supply of fresh, delicious food on demand. I could hardly contain my excitement of what we had accomplished. Of not just having all the healthy, organic food we could eat, but also the food insurance this would give us should disaster hit. In truth, I almost couldn't believe how simple all of this was. Missing my family, I rushed home with the plans. I started building the system from scratch, following the steps and using most of the stuff I had lying around in my backyard. And after about three hours, I built the system and put it to work. It ran perfectly. I mean, with just a few cents per hour to keep it up, me and my family were having a virtually non-stop supply of the freshest, highest quality food day in and day out. That's probably less than half you pay on your monthly grocery bill. All it had taken me was about three hours of my time and about $270 in initial costs. And my family was safe and independent. I loved the fact that I was teaching my son such a great lesson about not being dependent on the government or any corporations. And I felt so relieved to know that they would always grow up in a warm, safe, and comfortable home. Well, before long, my friends and family members were begging to know my secret. And when I showed them the simple yet highly effective wonder farm I'd created, a lot of them had a hard time believing something so small could be creating food on demand. But after I'd given them the simple building instructions that I'd come up with, and they'd followed them and created their own endless food supply in about the time it takes to assemble an IKEA chair, they became believers fast. And the results were the same over and over. An abundance of healthy, fresh, and nutritious food for their family. They loved knowing they would never have to rely on anyone or anything for their number one need in life, even if a disaster turned the outside world upside down. Soon, my friends were telling their friends about my little miniature, self-contained Garden of Eden, until, finally, the number of phone calls and emails from people asking me to share the blueprints with them became so overwhelming. My wife put her foot down and told me that I had to find a better way to share this life-saving knowledge with the world. So I went to work writing out the blueprints, the materials list, and a follow-along guide showing the construction process in simple steps. And that's how the Backyard Miracle Farm was born. It's the only proven, exclusive, step-by-step -step guide showing you exactly how to create your own Miracle Farm today and how to survive any tough disaster or crisis situation. As you already know, this system was specifically created so that anyone with one hand can do it. As long as you understand how to turn a screwdriver, play a video, 
and can somewhat speak English, you can set up this system no problem. In fact, you'll be shocked by how few steps there actually are and how short the list of materials you need to build this is. You'll see exactly what those steps are, along with a full materials list that will help you build the system from start to finish. Even though it wasn't cheap for me to conceive this system, I put a lot of time, money, and effort into it. I think it's extremely valuable. We wrote and recorded these easy, step-by-step, take-you-by-the-hand instructions so you can provide healthy, practically free, nutritious food for your family, no matter the scenario. And you can download the files to your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Just look at what you'll discover today inside the Backyard Miracle Farm. How this simple method that can produce all the naturally fresh fruits, vegetables, and fish so you can have an unlimited supply of nutritious food with the press of a button. And you'll discover just how incredibly easy it is to put together for less than $270 in total costs and in under three hours of your time. Not only will you have an automated supply of the freshest, high-quality food you've ever tasted for pennies on the dollar, yet this will become more valuable than gold in the middle of any disaster situation. What's more, because the Backyard Miracle Farm is very light and portable, it makes for one of the best emergency food sources you could ever hope for. Enjoy this sense of security that comes with having all the food and clean water on demand, even in an emergency, and forget about the worry of storage space. And best of all, it generates free food day in and day out, so you can slash your grocery bills by 30%, 60%, even 90% and save thousands each year. That's just a glimpse of what the Backyard Miracle Farm System will do for you. To date, more than 13,200 families have used this exact same system to permanently ditch the food companies. So with all of that being said, I want you to pause and think about this for a second. How good will it feel to never have to worry every time you go to the grocery store? To never have to feel the stress of not knowing what hidden pesticides, GMOs, and toxins you and your family eat. To never care about how much you spend on food, no matter how much the prices go through the roof. And knowing you'll never have to send a single dime to companies that could care less about your family's safety. How happy are you going to be when you join the ranks of the 13,200 other freedom fighters who've already decided that they are fed up with being dependent on others for the safety of their families? In just a few hours from now, you can have the only endless food supply you'll ever need and the power to survive and thrive through any disaster. And you'll save hundreds of dollars each month and thousands each year. This is my promise to you. If you use the over-the-shoulder guides, the step-by-step -step blueprints, the illustrated instructions, and the materials cheat sheet I'm giving you, you will create a device that will deliver an abundance of the best organic fruits and vegetables and fresh fish, no matter if you live in a tiny apartment, in a barren desert, or frozen tundra. And given all of that, how much is it worth to you to literally have an unlimited food supply for your family? Well, first of all, let me just be clear about it. There is no system like this available anywhere in the world. The Backyard Miracle Farm is the sum of considerable expertise in this field and based on the contribution of the professor who revolutionized this system. And beyond all the technical innovations that have gone into making this simple and easy-to-use system, you also need to understand that this is about more than just food. It's about keeping your family safe. The reason I'm so passionate about getting the Backyard Miracle Farm into your hands is that I never want you to go through what I went through. I want to give you the opportunity today to make sure that your home is filled with warmth and love, especially when you can do it all without ever having to send another dime to the same corporations who are getting rich off your family's financial struggles. Ultimately, this is about taking action today. So I'm not going to ask you to invest $1,000 for this secret, even though I know it's worth at least that. It won't cost you $500 either. That's the amount you'd probably spend on a fancy mini hydroponic garden at a greedy retailer. I want to let as many people as possible in and help them break free from the ropes and chains of the government and corporations. That's why, if you act right now and only on this page, I'll let you have the Backyard Miracle Farm 
including the manual, the schematics, the parts list, and all the step-by-step -step guides for a single payment of only $39.69. But if you want to take advantage of this rare discount, you must take action right now by clicking the big Buy Now button directly below Now. I can't guarantee that I can keep this price for longer, especially since we're giving away unlimited lifetime email support. So don't get mad if you come here in a few days and see that the price has gone up. And really, the price doesn't even matter. That's because you're covered by our no questions asked money back guarantee for 60 full days. It's simple. Get the course today and put it to the test. See how easy it is to have all the fresh, nutritious food you can eat for as long as you live with the Backyard Miracle Farm. Feel the peace of mind that comes with knowing you're fully protected from any type of disaster and see what it's like to be truly independent with this virtually unlimited food source in less than 30 minutes from right now. You have 60 days to decide whether this was a good investment or not. And if you're less than thrilled with how much you're saving on food, just write us a short email at the address you'll find in the members area. We'll give you an immediate refund, even if it's the 23rd hour of the 59th day. The Backyard Miracle Farm will help you generate your own food, survive and thrive no matter how big the next natural disaster will be. You won't need space-filling canned food stockpiles or that bland, tasteless dry food, and it's so portable, you can even take it with you on your trips. Instead of paying thousands of dollars on expensive greenhouses or other systems, you can pocket the savings and spend it on more important things. You're finally free and independent, no longer at the mercy of greedy corporations in our government. Now, you have the chance to join all of us in the fight to take back our food freedom. And you have a full 60 days to try before you buy. Right now, you're at a crossroads that's going to affect not just your bank account, but your happiness, your security, and the safety of your family for years to come. And the way I see it, three paths lie ahead of you. Now, I know you could just walk away and chance it that you'll never have to one day be caught without any food. Keep living with the fear that your kid will not be poisoned by the so-called food that you can find in the grocery stores these days. Keep hoping for the best and not be prepared for the worst. And pray to Almighty God that you won't have to live through all the disasters that experts predict are just around the corner. Keep buying your family unhealthy food that's filled with a ton of additives. But for how long? The prices are already going through the roof, and sooner than you realize, you're going to need to remortgage just to satiate your family's hunger. You could try building a greenhouse, that's if you can afford the $12,000 assembly and installations cost, or even try your luck with hydroponics. Of course, there's a second path, and that is to take what you've learned today and try to figure out your own system for creating real food for your family. Honestly, you can try this, but why on earth would you put the life of your family on the line? It took our team a lot of time, effort, energy, and work to put together the Backyard Miracle Farm to test it and to make sure that even non-technical folks like my brother could follow it and use it. And it's way too easy to mess this up and spend a lot of money while you're experimenting. And we all know how dangerous that is. You might end up with a non-edible source of food that might just become an ugly lawn ornament. If you really want to be self-sufficient and not at the mercy of FEMA and the corporations, then you should seriously consider path number three. Let me take all the risk for you. Do what over 13,200 families have already done. Grab your copy of The Backyard Miracle Farm. See how fun it is to have all the food you need for you and your family in shockingly little time. And with our generous 60-day guarantee, there's really no way you can lose. Just click the orange Buy Now button that you see below. You'll be brought right to our secure order page and will be able to grab your copy of the Backyard Miracle Farm and all the bonuses at a whopping discount right away. So, you need to act fast if you don't want to miss out on the opportunity of a lifetime.
when the world outside will go crazy for a bite of anything to eat, your family will have enough to eat, store, or even give to your loved ones and friends. The bottom line is, you need to get in fast, while you can, to get your hands on this proven way to ensure your everyday health and survival. Still here? No worries. I know that sometimes it can be scary to take that first step and you probably have a few questions. So, to help you feel fully confident in the investment you're about to make, let me take a minute or two to go ahead, answer some of the most common questions I get asked right now. Question. How does the Backyard Miracle Farm work? Answer. The Backyard Miracle Farm combines the best of all the other systems out there, as it was designed in such a clever way that it reflects what already happens in nature. One of the system's key components is the red wiggler worms. They play a very important and unique role in what makes this food system so much better and easier than any other system in the world and on the market today. The worms add key nutrients and richness to the soil, which then produces fruits and vegetables that are far superior and healthier than even the best organic food you can buy. There's also a live fish component to it. The Backyard Miracle Farm is so compact, mess-free, and the fish compartment is neatly built in. Every single component complements the others. The worms enrich the garden soil. The garden feeds the fish. The fish fertilize the plants. And a continuous built-in filtration system produces endless clean water. It's the perfect, self-contained Garden of Eden, a unique concept that can be used in every home or emergency situation. Question. What's maintenance like? Answer. There's no maintenance whatsoever because the device is a one-time build. Question. Is the backyard miracle farm hard to make work? Answer. Nope. When my uncle was helping me to come up with the designs, I was adamant that this be incredibly simple to build. There's very little physical labor, so even the elderly or those with a bad back or other ailment should have no problem putting everything together. As a result, there are just a small handful of materials required, and you should allow about three hours total for assembly. If you're still feeling nervous, remember that the step-by-step -step manual is designed with you in mind. Simply follow each step, and you'll be there in no time. It's really self-explanatory. Plus, if you do get confused for even a second, don't forget to take advantage of your free lifetime support that's included. Question. What's included again? Answer. Inside, you'll get my comprehensive guide showing you exactly how to create your own personal food farm today and how to survive any tough century-long disaster. I made this manual with an over-the-shoulder approach, so it's basically like I'm in there in the room helping you build it. You'll also get the blueprints, full-color step-by-step directions, and the full materials list. Plus, your investment today will come with unlimited lifetime support. This means you can email me anytime you have a question, and I'll promptly reply. Question. Is there a guarantee? Answer. Yes. Once you place your order, you have a full 60 days to check out the manual, blueprints, and instructions. Just follow along, and once you start building, your system will be up and running in around three hours. If at any point you're unsatisfied or change your mind about this, just send me an email, and I'll refund your entire investment, no questions asked. Question. I'm ready. How do I get started? Answer. Simply click on the Buy Now button you see below. You'll then be taken to my 100% secure checkout page where you'll enter your order information. After you've completed your order, you'll have access to my special members-only area. From there, you can instantly download everything. Remember, you have a full 60-day money-back guarantee here, along with unlimited lifetime support. So, go ahead and seize your opportunity now by clicking the orange Buy button below.